Hi guys, what's good? And welcome to another episode of um, Consumer Traders Weekly Outlook. Now, this is a new month in November, and we're going to be analyzing um, today, 5th of November, into the new week that we are going into to see what the market has for us. So, we're going to start with the XY, and um, we're going to start from the daily time frame. Now, if we have, um, this is what we have on a daily time frame, and um, we're going to try to connect all of these. All right, so you can see that we had um, a breakout. We had um, a shift in market structure right here. Price moved up, cleared out liquidity internal around here. Liquidity was taken and then boom, price broke. So here we have another break of structure. Here we have another break of structure. And what that means is that we are now bearish on the dollar. Now we'll go down to the four hour time frame. All right, so you can see this is what we have, what the price looks like on the four hour time frame. And we have break, break, break structure, break of structure. We have liquidity taken. So now what I want to do now is I want to try two things. The first one is we can connect our trainer like this and then we expect a retracement between Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and then we go short. Bank. All right. That's what I'm going to be looking at for. Now, if you look at this zone here, you can see that price broke this daily candle. Let me zoom out. All right. You can see this daily candle right here. And you see price broke so let's mark where price broke out from here so i want to keep our eyes on this zone all right we can take our fibonacci from this daily candle high down to the daily candle low so we you can now sell at either 0 0.618 or 0 0.786 okay let me extend this like this and stop loss above the high so this is what we're going to be anticipating on the dollar index and so we can keep this zone here and expect price to take out the liquidity here in this zone here take out this um, low by price taking out this low here which will have liquidity there so we expect monday tuesday to retrace then wednesday or thursday we expect a sell into this zone right here all right so that's that for the dollar index then going down to euro usd and this is what we have on euro usd for um the daily time frame so i'm gonna do right now is to go to four hour time frame so we're now bullish on the euro uac this time around let's quickly do some analysis before we just decide all right so you can see that price took out this eye price failed to make a low can you see that price failed to make a low and then we had a breakout like this can you see that we had a breakout boom all right so this is our shifting market structure this is our break of structure right here now what we need now is a retracement and then we go up so let's take it from this low like this and then we expect a retracement into 786 or 618 and then we go up can you see that so you can keep your highs on this zone like this 618 or 0 0.786 and then we buy the euro usd so this is what we're going to be doing for the week now for gp usd the same thing on gp usd as well we had a breakout last week on eu on gu so price broke bang so what i'll do now is the same approach take your fibonacci from this low down to this eye now on for gp uac depending on how weak the gp uac is all right so we can either take your view from this um daily candle here to the high and then we expect price to retrace into 600 or 786 and then we go long or you can take your feet from this daily candle and expect price to hit 0.786 around here 
which is where we have the daily breaker on GBPUSD. All right, so you can either look at this entire zone for GU, and then we can look for a buy. The next one is ADUSD. Now this is ADUSD daily time frame. Now ADUSD we also had this ending diagonal. See that? So we can either look at um, it like this or we can look at it like this. Like this. All right. So what we'll do now is either way, what I wanted to pay attention to is a fair value gap here. You can you see that? So keep your eyes on this daily fair value gap. Now, the reason why I'm looking at the daily time frame is because we are just in the new month, all right? So the daily time frame is where you see the the um, the signal from, all right? That's why I'm looking at the daily time frame. So you just look at lower time frame like one hour, 15 minutes for confirmation before you enter. So you look at the daily um, fair value gap and then you go up so adus it targets this imbalance slash other block here okay you see that so expect price to retrace and then we go up the next one is nzd usd same thing for nzd usd you can see this fair value gap right here on the daily time frame so we're going to be expecting price to retrace into that fair value gap and then you go up and what do you expect you seek price to take out this buy side liquidity which is an old eye so we expect price to take out this eye and to feel whatever void is left around this zone okay so we can keep your eyes on here for price to feel on nzd usd so eu gu au nu we are all bullish on these four all right now the next one is N uh, usd card now, USD card, we are bearish on this one. Uh, we have an ending diagonal like this. So, what we have is we have A, B, C, D, E. Can you see that? So, we have this ending diagonal A, B, C, D, E. So, what we expect to do now is we have a fair, daily fair value gap here. So what you expect to do is expect price to retrace like this into this fair value gap and then we expect to sell. And the sell you're expecting is this particular low here. You want to see price take out that low and then you take profit for the week and you're out. All right. So this is what uh, I have for the week. Euro USD, GP USD, AD USD, NZD USD and USD card. Five pairs. Now you don't have to trade all five. Just look for the one that has the good signal and the best setups and then you take them okay guys i'll see you guys um in the monthly outlook as we look at it on the monthly perspective have a profitable week ahead and see you guys later bye for now